Excuse me, pet. Hey, what's up, dude? I came to talk to you about the fishing contest. I'm planning an event for everybody to fish here. The winner of the fishing contest will get a great prize. Really now, that sounds interesting. Who's me? Nah, I'm the one that's running the thing, so I can't compete in it. Instead, I'm gonna sell some stuff to everybody that come to compete. Oh, you cheap, cheap. Oh, well. Nothing, nothing, never mind that. The fishing contest is on the 10th of every other month. You, you get on this, see you later, whatever. Whatever's. You get the ideas, man. Get the ideas. Even though we had the dream about the fishing contest about two seasons ago, and you're just now telling us about it? Thanks, dude. Hey, everybody, it's Gamma Lad. Welcome back to Let's Play Harvest Moon and the Lost Valley. In the last episode, we got the magical flowers we had to give to Garrett. And I wasn't planning on recording, but he introduced the fishing contest to us right now. So, I started the recording now. And if anything else happens, I'll show it. But until then, I'm pretty... I just wanted to show that, and I will see you guys when we hit Thursday. And hopefully, it'll be Thursday morning he's there, and not Thursday night, because... That's just plain ridiculous to have to wait even longer. Alright, so I'll see you guys there momentarily. I wonder if Catherine has something she wants to say. Probably to insult me even more. Well, we'll find out. She'll probably appear today. But it is Thursday, and we're gonna go see if our buddy Gareth is there at the precise time and date. And yeah, wow, it is very cloudy. Holy cow. But, uh, yeah. So, I guess I got tired of waiting, and I just thought, you know, it's Thursday. Let's get some, let's just do some farm work and stuff. I'm not sure what else I can really do. Um, I mean, I guess I could, um, uh, finally get a chicken coop built. Actually, no, it's, it's a funny thing. Um, in Harvest Moon Magical Melody, my biggest gripe of that game was the silkworms. When I was younger, I just did not have the patience to raise every single silkworm that I had in the chicken coop. And I'll be honest, I had a full coop of silkworms, because they were very cheap, and they um, gave a lot of money. And I just hate having to go to each individual one to feed those things. I'm just so glad those things never came back in future games. But, uh, yeah... That's a bit of a uh, trivia about my experience of Harvest Moon. I had horrible luck with silkworms. Uh, I don't know. I don't want to go fishing. I want to use my watering can. And we're, you know, you get a lot of strawberries here. Holy cow! They're most of them are ready to be plucked. I'm uh, assuming based on the season, you get different types of strawberries. Because uh, you know it's, been, it's wintry still, so I get a lot of more of the white berries. If that makes any sense. I should not have a taste for something with berries in it. I haven't eaten lunch yet, and I haven't eaten breakfast since, like, 7 o'clock, so... I'm hungry! <laughs> Maybe I'll go and get myself, um, uh, some Subway after this, or something else. I don't know. Something nutritious... Not nutritious, but, um... Well, yeah, nutritious. Uh, whatever. I'm going off on a tangent here about something that's other than Harvest Moon. So, stomach, leave me alone. We have watered the plants. Now let's go see... Let me check the map. Gareth isn't up there yet, so... Let's just hop on up there and see if we can find him. I hope. If not, well, fudge. And are you going to be up there? Are we get a trigger? No triggered event. Oh, wait. No. We just happened to all be in that one small corner. I thought, something, I thought it was supposed to be some sort of scripted thing, my bob. But yeah, so we've got nothing. Uh, I mean, I guess we can go to the mines and check those out again. Maybe get some better materials. Yeah. Um, I guess I can feed my cow, and... I, I just feel like there's not much I can really do on camera here, and I'm actually getting very close to the end of the game, too. And once I get there, I'm gonna have to, um, take a long, hard think on how am I going to progress it with the series, if I am. Um, I do plan to, you know, get to get married in this, and show that off. I've mentioned it several times, but... I'm not really sure how much, how often it'll be uploaded. It'll be uploaded, um, will I continue to try doing it daily? Well, I do it, you know, every other day. Um, I want to focus more on SpongeBob SquarePants and Wind Waker HD soon because I'm out of school for the semester. I have a lot more time on my hands when I'm not working at GameStop. But, um, yeah. This all really depends on what I have time to do. But, you know, I'm going to keep trying my best. I um, should probably mention the Ace Attorney, the next episode of Ace Attorney, and that dub is um, almost finished. And I've switched formats officially to the HD remake of Ace Attorney. So, you'll be seeing a little bit better visuals. I mean, with the capture card and my and Camtasia, it kind of downgrades them a little bit, but 
it looks a lot better than the uh, WiiWare version I've been using um, until recently. And after this episode is done, the episodes should be a bit more streamlined because investigation episodes, naturally, will go by faster than courtroom episodes um, because in the courtroom episodes, there's only maybe three or four voice actors and they have a, a, a book full of lines and in um, investigation mode, it's like maybe seven or eight people at, at times, and you, you don't have that many lines there. It's mostly between um, Wright and Maya. But, um... Okay, I need to think of more things to talk about, because Catherine's not appearing anywhere. Well, I don't know, I didn't check the map. She could be at the uh, Moon Valley. That was my phone, if you didn't hear, if you heard that. Uh, I'll respond to that in a moment. Okay, fine, I'll respond to that now. Sheesh. To try doing multitasking, playing, and responding to this text. <laughs> this will go well. Um, actually, since nothing is appearing, I think I'm just gonna cut out now and wait until either Garrett appears or I can find Catherine. So I'll see you guys there in a moment. All right, there you are, Gareth. Let's see what you have to say for yourself. It seems you found the flower of grace, Pat. You bet I did. Wasn't that hard after all? Here you go. Now hand over that seed. There's no doubt about it, that's the Flower of Grace. I had a feeling you would be the one to find it, but I didn't I didn't imagine it would be this soon. Awesome. Now, by the way, make up your mind when you're going to talk in rhymes and when you're not going to talk in rhymes. Well, as promised, I entrust you with the blessed seeds. Thank you very much. I will plant these tonight. Thank you very much. Far and wide have I wandered seeking the place where these seeds were meant to be planted. A bountiful place in which the flowers of grace will bloom. I believe in this place and in you. Pat, the seeds are in your hands now. With great power comes great responsibility and fruit. What will the blessed fruit look like when it, when it appears? I look forward to seeing that. You're saying you've had the seeds, but you've never planted them? Because logic? I don't know. Alright, now I got the blessed seeds. I'm gonna let's go plant them. Wonder what type of fruit it's gonna be. Maybe an apple, because since we're giving it to the devil after all. But um let's see. Oh, hello! You actually scared me for a second. <laughs> um Alright, so let's see, how many do we get here anyway? We get None. We can't plant it. Oh. I guess we have to give it to the Harvest Goddess. I guess it makes sense, because then from there, she'll just plant it in like, in like, um, like three seconds, and then we can get, just get on with the game. I don't know. But, um, this is probably a very short episode, so I'm not gonna call it an episode now. We're gonna go right to the Harvest Goddess and see what in the world she wants us to do now. And I think we're actually getting very close to the end of this game's story, which is very surprising. But, uh, we won't know. We'll find out very soon, though. Let's see if we get any cool dreams tonight. Oh, okay, nothing important. Sorry, Tony. <laughs> uh, these request dreams are just really a pain. They're like, yeah, ooh, they need, need something done for us. Prime here ever. Because it's basically the same request over and over again sometimes. Oh, well. I'll talk to him whenever. Hope we can find Catherine so you see what, it, what what she has on her mind. She's probably mad that I missed her birthday because the game never tells me when exactly her birthday is. It just says, "It is soon." How soon? And oh, hello, Bunny. Hello, little Bunny Rabbit. Hello, Georgie. I will call you George, and I will love George, and I will pet George. Okay, I'm I'm watching too much, too many Looney Tunes. But we found that there's a little bunny rabbit. I don't know what else they do. I mean, if you can find them, you can pet them, but... I don't know if it actually benefit your farm or anything. Who knows? Who... Well, I don't want to say who cares, because I care. If they benefit the farm, of course I'm going to care, because then I'll probably get more rewards for petting them more often. But, um... Let's just, you know, pour compost. Because, you know, and jump. Because, you know, the controls in this game are extremely clunky. But, um... I'm going to save my review for the end of this project in a special video, my thoughts on the project. So, you'll get my full, um, you'll get my full uncut, um, thoughts in this game. And, as a whole, what I thought of this project. So, um... And, but that, uh, but, um, bear in mind, the project will continue after that. I'm just going to do that after I finish the main story, because there's obviously so much more you can do 
after you completed the game's main story, and we're up here right on time, so let's see what the Harvest Goddess has for us. Okay, so let's talk to her. <clears throat> My goodness, you have found the Blessed Seeds already? I knew Pat could do it, let's hurry up and plant them! You bet. Now, now, don't be hasty. More things you need before the seeds will sprout and grow. See, I knew that was too easy. I knew that was too easy. Let's see, what was it we needed? Oh dear, I've forgotten! <laughs> I... It, how could you... Pat, don't you have a friend who knows a lot about trees? Uh, there's Catherine, but I can't find her. So, we've got to find Catherine, because she knows how to plant this type of stuff, apparently. So, we're going to kill two birds with one stone. Uh, find out what she wants from us, and find out more about the seeds, and if she even appears uh, today. Because, you know, she really doesn't have a set scheduled day. I mean, she appears on weekends at the Goddess Spring, but she also will appear at the Moon Valley and on the farm. So, what I'm going to do now is probably uh, cut forward to when I find Catherine and see what she wants us to do. So I will see you guys in a second. All right, and Catherine is right here. Let's see if we talk to her. You are asking me how to grow blessed seeds? It just so happens that I remember my father talking about those when I was small. I'm sure he did, but thanks. Sleeping seeds awaken when upon the tears of happiness are shaken. Then grown tall with battered in a century of the warm sun's glow. And the blessed fruit like little suns will grow. That's the bedtime story my father would tell me when I couldn't sleep. Oh, that's a lovely story. Don't tell me you've never heard that story. What sort of upbringing did you have? Hmph. Who cares about such a fairy tale, about such fairy stories anyway? There's no, no such fantastical tree. Well, I have the seeds. So, do you really need to tears of happiness? But who could help you on this? On Insta Sun, you need to an Insta Sun. The doc probably helped me on the Insta Sun, but um, there's a matter you must take care of for me. Tell that strange request. Okay, whatever. Good day, Pat. Well, hello, Catherine. I suppose you find the time to pester me with your chatter because you are shir shirking your work. Well, to be honest, I kind of am. You have brought nothing for me to peruse today. I look forward to something that meets my standards. That's quite impossible, of course, for the likes of you. Fan freaking fantastic Wait, okay. Three agate. Agate. Uh, I don't know if I have any of those. It says I don't, but we can refine them, or... Let's see here. Adam and ore. I have two agate ore. I just have to get one more to get it, re get it refined. So, let's just talk to you here. Refine an ore. And there we go. I only got two. I'm gonna run to a mine real fast, and hopefully they will all still be here when I find my third one. Because uh, I want to get this request done, might as well in this episode. And uh, so I wonder who has that um, Tears of Happiness. Of all the characters, I can't really think of any. Um, I would maybe um, April. I mean Emily does? Question mark. Because of how. Nah. I mean, she is very emotional. Let's see what happens if I talk to rocks in my way. Seriously? Hello there, how are you? Okay, so you're not in your designated area, so nothing will be triggered. Fan freaking fantastic. Okay, I need to find one more I get ore. Quickly. Uh, I'm not gonna make it because time passes too quickly in this game. Mine. Silver? No, I don't want silver. I don't want silver! Can't dig any further. You, give me agate. I found a stone. I don't care. I found another stone. Found a bronze ore. Can't dig any further. Fantastic. Well, uh, well, it's not gonna be any good. Even though she appears on the weekend, um, nothing's really gonna change because I have to, those guys don't think appear on Saturdays, which kind of sucks. And the other mine entrance I haven't uncovered yet. I should probably start digging around these mine entrances to find the hidden ones. But oh, what? Come on, come on, really? Holy cow, I hate. This is ridiculous. 
Okay, there we go. Now we're out of that um, hole in the wall. Um, I think I'm going to cut ahead so I find some more information about the Tears of Happiness. If I don't, I'll just come back and end the video off. So, I will see you guys in a hot second. Sally is searching for something. I don't think that has anything to do with the Tears of Happiness, but oh well. And, um, I don't know what else to do right now, really. I mean, I'm kind of stumped. I guess I'll try finding Sally. Uh, where is she? Is she even out here this morning? No, she's not. Fantastic, but you know, I kind of think I covered enough this episode. We got a uh, request from Catherine. We found we found out more about the Blessed Seeds. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Be sure to check out the other parts in the series, and be sure to keep a lookout for future parts in the series. And tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. And as always, everyone, this is Gamma Lad signing off. <laughs>